Okay, when was the last time I played this? According to this, it was in July. It has been a while. Well, um... If we're very lucky, I'll be able to remember what the hell I was doing. Actually, wait! I have a journal! We gave a stunning performance. Um... Minoria Village. Have I talked to people around town already? Damned if I know. Um... What's my money situation? Look, well, Sepeth looks good. Money also looks pretty good. We're gonna go in here, because... Fuck, I don't know. Okay, you know what? <laughs> it's all already open. I have one of everything. And, no, nope, wrong one. I think I've turned in all my side quests. Maybe I'll just check the guild, just in case. Oh, there is a new one! A ferocious monster known as Jabba has been spotted roving the Gull Seaside Way. Bracers from this branch are requested to deal with it immediately. Okay, um... It is this way... Wait, why is Joshua in the back? When did that happen? Eh, I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay, the regular monsters are not really worth very much. So, I can probably just ignore them. But I do want to try and track down the, uh... Oh, oh, it's right here. Okay. Exterminate! Oh, wow, there are so many of them. Um... You're weak against water. You're weak against water. I should probably use, like, water then. But I don't have a water attack that hits more than one target. And I'm feeling like hitting more than one target is probably... Yeah, like, I could do that, right? And, you know, only all of them will have moved. That feels better. Let's see... Wait, do you have a AoE water attack? You might. You do not. Worth a shot. Um, hmm. Well... Ah, 
how... Oh! You can slow them down! Could have been better, but it could have been worse. Both of them. That that feels okay. Oh, okay. You know what? It wasn't as okay as I thought. As it turns out. that I can see monsters from so far away. That's the orphanage. Okay, we're here. This is where we were going, right? Um... Thank you. 
There we are. Oh, Miss Chloe, everyone. It was so scary. Thank goodness you're all safe. Pardon me, but what about the others? How is the matron of the Risa? Don't worry, they're not hurt. They haven't woken up though, which has me a little worried. If I may then, I'd like to see to them. No doubt about it, someone used sleeping powder. Sleeping powder? Yes, there's still a faint hint of it in the air. Wait, this sounds familiar. It's probably the kind without the side effects, so there's no real need for concern. Were we told about the sleeping powder before, or... Because this sounds familiar. Hey Clem, can you tell us what happened? Oh, sorry about that. I'll tell you. We were walking along the coast road with the bracer lady, and these strange guys in masks showed up out of nowhere. The bracer lady fought them for a while, but they surrounded her. She fought him to save us in Matron Theresa. That's why. <laughs> there, there. It must have been so scary. They, they took an envelope from the matron. I wanted really bad to get it back. Mr. Joshua, I, I couldn't help her. Don't think that way, Clem. I know that Matron Theresa would just be happy that all of you are safe. That's why you mustn't blame yourself. But I... I... <laughs> I don't believe this. Who would do such a thing? Whoever it is must certainly be skilled at hiding their presence. After all, the bracer wasn't alerted. And Richard and Theresa is unconscious. Chloe, I get the feeling that this was very deliberate. I see the criminals were tar probably targeting the donations. If we find the money, we'll find the culprit. We already arrested the Sky Bandits, right? So, um. <laughs> It sh there's no possible way it can be them again, right? You seem a little calmer than earlier. Yes, in order to help the matron and the kids, I must compose myself. Regardless, we must find out who did this as soon as possible. She's right, you know. Oh, it's this asshole! I heard what was going on at the guild. Looks like you've gotten wrapped up in one hell of a mess. Hey, don't make light of the situation. Carla got hurt too. I know that, so quit your yapping. Carla's no amateur either. It takes someone pretty skilled to beat her. How about you give me a quick rundown of what's been going on here? Joshua and Estelle told Agathe the whole story about the donations for the orphanage. Hmm. Alright then, that's definitely something weird going on. Well, here's the thing. You know that Raven gang that was hanging out of the warehouse? They're all gone now. Warehouse is empty. I don't think that's the case, Estelle. Yeah, what Joshua said. I really doubt that they'd have what it takes to get the upper hand on Carla. That's true. They talk a big game, but I don't think they could back it up. 
Yeah, give them a single hard look and they all shut right up. Today, though, they're suddenly nowhere to be found. <laughs> Couple that with today's little incident, and what do you get? Like I said, something weird's going on. Even if they're not directly responsible for the fire, I do feel like they're involved somehow. Yeah, but this ain't the time to go checking that out. Come on, Greenhorns, let's go. You slow in the head or something? Obviously, we're gonna go to the seaside path where the crime happened. How those idiots did it doesn't matter right now. We've gotta focus on finding some clues as to where they are. True. Understood. We'll help. How did it get to be so late? This is no good. How are we supposed to search in the dark? Mm. That was the bird, right? It was the bird. Oh, see, where have you been? What the hell? That's C. He's Chloe's uh, Gear Falcon companion. As long as he's friendly. Understood. Thank you, C. Now I've seen everything. I mean, you say that, but... So, Missy, what your friend there tell ya? The whereabouts of the ruffians who assaulted the Russa, evidently. It seems he saw the attack. <laughs> now, wait a minute. You mean to tell me that you actually believe that? We've seen him communicate several times. If you don't believe us, you don't have to come along. Come on, guys. All right. Um... Wait up, you punks! Does seem like it's homing on something, but... Come on, we're really following that thing? If this is your idea of a joke, it's not funny. It's not a joke. The matron and the children are like family to me. I thought we were yanking my chain, but I guess I'll follow. Why don't you say what you... All that aside, we need to get going after C. Um, okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, ow! Okay, we did it. anything. Do I have at least have a- I do. Do I have a defense too? I do not. Zach went to the Bracer Guild to tell them what he knows. Now that he's back, now he's back and helping out at the end. He's a good brother, always dependable when the chips are down. We simply cannot allow 
allow an atrocity like this to pass. All of the villagers are willing to help. Please catch whoever did this for the children's sake. So... Okay, I see. Did you find the criminal's identities? We can't let anyone who would do something like this get away. Weren't you supposed to be at the end? Make sure you catch them and show them the error of their ways, as politely as you can with your preferred weapon of choice. <laughs> I was thinking, I can have, I can at least get the children something to eat. Probably asked me to fetch her some ingredients to make them a hearty meal. kids are sleeping here. I'll watch over them. Please find the scum who did this. Hmm. Wait. It's already pitch black out there. Be careful on your way back. I kind of feel like I should walk back to the city, but I kind of don't want to do that. <laughs> Had to cheer everyone up. Okay. I mean, if I went back, I could do this Nimkampoop slots, but also... And then talk to everyone, because I'm sure there's unique dialogue there now that it's dark. But I kind of don't want to. Fuck it. Let's just... Let's go. Let's track them down. Hopefully a gate doesn't immediately ditch us again after this, but uh, I guess we'll see. The lighthouse? That's interesting. Hmm, let's go and check it out. What would they be doing at the lighthouse? to attack the mission of Marissa and the children are here in this building. Which means that there's a high chance the perpetrators have taken over the lighthouse. And from the looks of it, that seems to be the only entrance. I guess all that's left to do is to check it out for ourselves. Now hold on a minute there, girl. I want to see the truth with my own eyes. What the hell are you talking about? I want to know why someone would do such a horrible thing. So please take me with you. The only reason we know about this is because of Chloe. And I can guarantee that she can handle herself. So at least you don't have to worry about her getting in the way. Fine, have your way. But I hope you remember that this, these guys are the ones to put Karna out of commission. Make sure you don't let your guard down. Alright, let's hurry and check that place out. Oh, that reminds me, actually. Um... Was one of these sleeping grounds? Prototype. 
warehouse, key, candelabrum. Oh yeah, this is the one I screwed up on. Monster Mon- okay. None of these say sleeping grass. Um... I don't know. It's probably fine. <laughs> oh, sure enough, it's these idiots. I swear, if I wasn't looking at them with my own eyes right now, I'd never believe it. Hey, what the hell are you doing here? Um, that does not seem like a good thing. What? What happened to them? Well, time to, yeah, beat some sense into them. You are probably about to level up there, Joshua. So, um... He is like a decent cop. Definitely beating it that way. Oh shit! I'm so sorry. I was not expecting that. Um, do I have? Okay. Um. Right. We're 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 just gonna. Um, KO. Uh, I'll close the one who can heal KO. Okay then. Um. We're good to go. Let's do that. And uh, how much HP do you have left? We'll just uh make sure we get that. Oh. 
damn it, Joshua! You know what? No, it's fine. It's fine. It's okay. Five levels higher than the rest of the party. I can't believe it. These guys are a hundred times stronger than what we dealt with in the warehouse. Control how? I'd say it's some sort of special hypnotic induction, using a combination of drugs and suggestion. Also magic. I'm gonna go into the limb and say magic. This allows the person controlling them to draw out their maximum physical potential. Um, of course, but they need to be pretty skilled to even attempt it. And I can only think of one group that could pull off something like this. Yeah, maybe. But there's no time to talk about it now. Let's head upstairs. The real perpetrators should be up there. Um, let's just uh. Let's do that, and I think that's it. More of these assholes. Okay, this time I'm going to try to not knock them out of the effect of my own attack. I feel like that would be a good call. Him. He has too much HP anyway. Um, maybe I should use a target attack with Chloe actually. That might be better. Okay, like, the thing is, I have a lot of one-offs, and I don't know which ones I've eaten before. Um... Poison... That one! Should be good. And now, you are gonna just kill him! Okay, SP could be a little bit better. Um, does one of these cure... No, wrong one. Does one of these do SP? 
Well, I mean, that does. Okay, well, you know... I'm really sorry about this. I really don't want to fight with anyone who's controlled, but... This isn't the time to be moving back. We don't need to kill them, just knock them out. Um, what just happened? Okay, well, this position I do not love. You didn't get the one shot, one kill. A little bit unfortunate. Cannot attack, cannot use craft, can use magic. So, um. Do you have lightning? Please tell me you have lightning. You do not. Okay. Um. Did not get the petrification. Too bad. <laughs> you know, as long as they're not attacking anything... Anyone, like, you know, defense down? I think I can hit both of these. Yeah, okay. getting less XP than I would be because of a gate. I, I might be wrong there, but it feels like that's the case. Well, that should be the last of the mooks. So, uh, who's on top? of that. <laughs> Job well done. Now we'll be able to blame this mess on those punks and everything will work out perfectly. So I take it that you're satisfied with our work? Yes, you've handled things nicely. But just to make sure, you haven't left any incriminating evidence, right? <laughs> You've got nothing to worry about there. 
Even those fools, even when those fools regain their senses, they won't remember a thing. The lighthouse keeper shouldn't wake up till morning either. I'm relieved to hear that. With this, the matron of that orphanage should give up on her dreams of rebuilding it. And the series of incidents, along with the arson, will end up looking like the work of the low lives. We can get two birds with one stone. It's perfect. We're glad to see that our clients are happy with our work. However, if you don't mind me asking, what's the benefit of, in destroying an orphanage? That's the one thing I've been having a hard time with. <laughs> Please, if you really want to know, I'll let you in on the secret. The mayor intends to transform that entire area into a series of very, very upscale vacation homes. Interesting. A scenic seaside area not far from Ruin City. What more favorable geographic conditions could there be than that for a vacation home? We'll build lavish estates there and then sell them off to the highest bidders. That's been the mayor's plan all along. Now, that's a ritzy plan if I've ever heard one. But I still don't get why it was necessary to burn it down. <laughs> Think about it. Imagine trying to sell a luxury estate to someone with a ramshackle place like that marrying the view. Not to mention all the little brats running around and making a ruckus. But instead of going to an extreme like that, why not just buy the place? You didn't really think that stubborn woman would sell off the land left to her by her late husband, did you? And if we were to haul away the burnt out remains while they were away and building something in his place, there's not much they could do, could they? And since they have no money to rebuild the place, they'd have no choice but to accept their fate. That was your reasoning? How long have you been standing there? For something like that? You hurt Matron Theresa and the children? You burnt their memories to ashes? You deprived those children of their smiles? For that? But before that, what are those lowlives doing downstairs? Too bad for you, they're all taking a long nap. And to think that the mayor was behind it all. Plus some faces we've seen before seem to be involved too. So, you know who we are, do you? We've been briefly acquainted with that red-headed bracer before. HA! So running off like dogs with your tails between your legs and sticking some monsters on me means we're acquainted. But now I've finally got you where I want. Kill them! Kill them all! Now that they've seen my face, I cannot let them walk out of here alive. It's unfortunate that you've fallen this far, Gilbert. Well, since this is a request from our client, I guess we'll just have to comply. Let's see what you've got, racers. That's exactly what I was thinking. Just because you hired help, don't think that you're in any less responsible. I think it's time to make you taste the power of the heavy blade. Um... Hmm. Okay, they do not like a game. I mean, who can blame them? But also, uh, hmm. Ha! Hmm. Wait, does this penetrate? Okay, well, let's try it. Yes!
Um, that should be fine. Well, it seems we've made fairly short work of them. Honestly, I was expecting a little bit more. Good to go. This can't be. Gilbert, steward of the mayor, and you boys in black, in accordance with the laws of the Bracer Guild, you are hereby placed under arrest. Give up and surrender. You're pretty tough, I'll give you that. Going toe-to-toe -to -toe with you hasn't disappointed me at all. The lieutenant's going to be mad. He warned us about this. We shouldn't... <laughs> Excuse me. We shouldn't have been as careless as we were. Do you mean the guy wearing the red mask who was negotiating with the bandits? I'm surprised you know about that. It looks like you dogs from the guild are better at sniffing things out than we thought. Your insults are pretty funny, considering we just gave you a serious beatdown. Now hurry up and throw down your weapons. Sorry, but we cannot do that. Um, Come any closer and this guy's brains are going to be splattered all over the place. What is the meaning of this? What do you intend to do by threatening your employer? You're wrong about that. You are not our employer. The mayor is. But whether it was you or the mayor here, the outcome would have been the same. We only cooperated with you because we shared a mutual interest. And we couldn't care less whether you lived or died. Please! Don't shoot! Don't shoot me! Cut the tears and crap. Don't think you can get away by trying to fool us with a show like that. Uh, mm. I was gonna say, I don't think he was bluffing. Looks like they were serious. If this isn't enough of a show for you, then how about we blow the brains out of the poor lighthouse keeper here? If his life means anything to you, then I suggest you back up. Let's see, like over by the stairs. Evil will always triumph, because good is dumb. Something like that, right? That's right, do what you're told like the dogs you are. And it looks like this is where we bid you for well. Don't think you're getting away this time! And the gate's gonna run after them, isn't it? Oh, they had a rope! Okay, that. okay. I'm leaving. Yeah, there he goes. Sure enough. The rest of you report to John and ask him for further instructions. Okay, Estelle would definitely go after him, but what is the right choice here? What is the correct choice? I think we do need to bring Gilbert in to stew at. I think that is pretty important, and I think that the gate can handle himself. Yeah, that's what I thought. We can't just forget about Gilbert and those guys from the Raven Gang. And though I think Gilbert got what was coming to him, he's still hurt. Alright. 
I hate to say this, but I guess we'll have to leave the rest of the game. Thus, in the end, Estelle and the others were able to take back the stolen money without incident. By the time the mayor's steward and the group of delinquents were safely locked up, morning had already broken.